Okay, so to begin to edit your iMovie projects, the first thing you must do is to go down to your event and select your film. Then you right click it and select entire clip. Then you drag your film from the event into your project. Now you can begin editing your, pro your film. You'll be able to play it there and see your film. To begin most of your editing, you will first select your clip. It will highlight itself in a yellow bar around your clip. Then you go down to your inspector on your toolbar. It looks like a lowercase i. Once you click on it, you'll be in the first part of the inspector called clip. From there, you can go to video effect. And it gives you a series of already um, preset video effects to put onto your film. They have cartoon, day and tonight, vignette, sci-fi, x-ray, negative, sepia, black and white, bleach bypass, old world, all kinds of stuff here to be able to use. Then you go back, if you can select cancel or you can either select one there, and then you can click video. And here you can do color correction with your exposure, with your contrast, uh, your brightness, saturation and you can add in red gains you can take out or add in green gains you can take in or add out blue gains and then you can also adjust your white points From there you just select done and it will convert your clip to that. Then with the same highlighted clip I can go back to the inspector and from there I can click select on to my audio. There I can either raise, lower, or take out my audio level of the film. I can also raise and lower the volume of other tracks such as music or narrations to the film so that you so that either it will quiet down when my film starts or it will get louder. I can also add in manual or automatic fade-ins. Manual and automatic fade-outs. And I can increase how long it takes for those to go. I can get down to a tenth of a second all the way up to five seconds. From here I can also normalize my clip volume, and that doesn't take very long to do. From there I can select done, and then going back to my clip, I can go and through highlighting a few frames, I can delete by highlighting and then pushing delete, and this creates separate frames. You can also do this if you want to select out just a tenth of a second, you make it a separate clip, and the tenth of a second doesn't really make it too jumpy. And from there, you can change audio of one individual clip and not the entire film. And then after your project is done, you go up to Share and Export using QuickTime. You do this so that it comes out as an MOV file, not an MP4 or an M4V file. An MOV file will play on every computer no matter what it is. An MP4 file will only play in iTunes. So we export using QuickTime. I title it. And then I export it onto my desktop and save. And then it will begin to export your project.
And that's the basics of editing in iMovie. Okay, 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 